What's the first thing you think of when you hear the word nuclear? Weapon? Perhaps the state of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II comes to mind. Mushroom clouds, horrific deaths, and widespread radiation? Although serious nuclear accidents have been few and far between the past decades, the negative impression remains. 1979, Three Mile Island, USA. A human-operated valve system failure caused an accident that's considered the most serious nuclear accident in U.S. history. 1986, Chernobyl, Ukraine. The result of a flawed reactor design coupled with human error left more than 30 people dead. Fukushima is the latest one. Thousands of people died in the Fukushima tsunami. But no one died in the accident of the reactor. Don't conflate the two. Nuclear has been generating electricity since the 1950s. Today, nuclear provides about 10% of the world's energy needs. The story of nuclear starts with uranium, a natural element found in the Earth's crust. Over the past six decades, uranium has emerged as one of the globe's foremost energy minerals, undergoing mining processes like numerous other metals. It is more abundant than gold, silver or mercury. Uranium is what fuels nuclear power stations like the ones in the US and Japan but only a certain kind of uranium. U-235 is used because its atoms can be easily split apart. This process is called fission. Random neutrons collide with uranium atoms, releasing more neutrons that then go on to collide with other atoms. This chain reaction takes place inside a nuclear reactor. What happens in a nuclear reactor? The chain reaction uh, produces a lot of heat. How will you stop the chain reaction because otherwise it becomes a bomb? These rods absorb neutrons. They prevent the chain reaction from running out of control. That's why they're called control rods. During the fission, the nuclear reactor's core releases energy that heats water to about 300 degrees Celsius. Since water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, the constant steam released spins large turbines, which then turns the generator, creating electricity transmitted via the power grid. Today, about 436 nuclear power plants operate in 32 countries globally. All of them will need uranium. The largest uranium exporter to date is Kazakhstan, which provides 46% of the world's supply. However, according to the Nuclear Energy Agency, the planet's uranium resources could only run for slightly more than 200 years at current rates of consumption. Over the last five decades, recycling nuclear fuel has offered a sustainable solution by reprocessing spent uranium. To date, several countries, including the UK, France, Japan and China, have been involved in the recycling technologies. Many people don't know if you look at cancer diagnosis and treatment, this is nuclear medicine. If you want to preserve your food items for a long time for shelf life, that's irradiation using radiation power. Although uranium is predominantly utilized in electricity generation, a minor fraction is crucial in producing medical isotopes. The advancement of nuclear technology is also pushing frontiers. For example, space exploration. Small nuclear power sources are used to power spaceships. While farmers can control insects that destroy crops as an alternative to chemical pesticides using nuclear-related tech. Also, in light of climate change challenges, fossil fuel-based power generation could emit about one ton of CO2 per megawatt hour while nuclear power plants emit zero. Nuclear tech has advanced to be more than just a weapon. When we weigh up the costs of nuclear energy against its benefits, do we still have reason to be afraid? <laughs>